Wait, speaking of evolved people, my next question to you is going to be a little heavy. My question to you is uh, that what is going on in your whole business career as well? Because that's a very active part of your life, but you're low key about it. People don't know how much into business you are. And I also feel you're the kind of person who, when you put your glasses on, you become a different person. So, uh, <laughs> so like, uh, do you know what I mean? Like, not no, literally, it, but uh, all your calculations and all come on. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm terrible with numbers. I have, I don't consider myself someone with business acumen also. And I'm not saying it, saying it uh, trying to be humble. I'm mm. being honest. Um, but what I have is intuition. And what I have is a very clear uh, sense of direction in my head of where I see myself or what I think I need to do. Yeah. Can you elaborate on the intuition part first? Yeah, so for me, I, I really believe that most human beings, um, I read this book in it, I'm terrible with names, but you know, it's that flicker, that sense of uh, the minute you see something, you you gauge mm. uh, your feeling mm. or your intuition on it. Mm. And then what happens is that we lose focus and then we go into due diligence, whether this is right for us or not. But that you, inst you, the that instance that you see that situation or the thing that you want to, you know, delve into, that instinct is the truth. Yeah. So like your first instinct about a person or a situation yeah. tells you the truth. Yeah. But most people slip into that calculative. Exactly. Okay. So I just go with that moment. That what that do I think about this person, truth. this yeah. situation, this business? So if I like a business on the face of it, I will approach mm. <laughs> the guys and I'll say, you know, I want to get a buyer's take in it. So I'll, I'll also give you the spiritual perspective on like what you're saying according to the spiritual books. So are you familiar with chakra meditations? So basically chakras are important. We've point. done it in our app as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'll check it out. Yeah. So uh, basically there's a chakra here, which is also at the same position as something called your pineal Agya gland. Chakra, that is. Yeah, that's like your your third eye. Like that's what they call it. That's so the Agya chakra. if you keep working on that chakra, your intuition continuously increases. Yeah. And this is something I felt as well. Like, and the practical use of it in the modern world is business. The is one, there's one right behind it that people don't focus on. It's called okay. the Bindu chakra. Okay. Could so, you elaborate? Yeah. So you they say that there are only seven chakras, hmm. but there's so many more. There's hmm. 32,000, 72,000 nadis in hmm. our body. Hmm. Key points. Yeah. The, there are so many nerve endings and each one, each cell has a brain of its own. Mm -hmm. It's a person in itself. Mm. And we are functioning because each one is working. Mm -hmm. So have you used any of those to improve your career? <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm a huge believer in chakra meditation. Mm. I practice it. And uh, even when we started the app, I was hell-bent on doing it. Mm. I was hell-bent on introducing it through the app. And uh, we've done it. And I really feel, you know, when you're in, um, when you're aligned mm. with your chakras, you automatically feel the sense of power. Mm. You feel in control of your faculties. And I feel we're really losing out on that. It's because we are not aligned. I also feel that, again, it's there is this yogic concept that talks about inner peace. And they say that there's three layers to it. The first is your physical health. That needs to be fixed. Second is your mental health. And the third is your spiritual health. So... Um, I would, I would uh, interchange that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I would say first, your mental health. Got it. And if you're meant, if you're functioning well up here, mm. it's mind over body. Yeah. Then but don't, don't you automatically think that, your physical health will be yeah. better. But don't you think that if your habits are bad, like very bad, like I'm saying junk food every day, smoking every day, things like that, it creates an environment for negative thoughts. I agree, and I think you attract, you attract what you want. Yeah. So. So if you want to yeah. go down that path, you will attract yeah. it. Yeah, hundred percent. So you uh, have so to choose what path you want to yeah. take. Also, I feel that so I, I when YouTube was starting, YouTube doesn't pay you initially at all. So you have they to still figure, pay your pittance. Oh no! I mean, not not YouTube as in the AdSense is a different game, but the brand uh, money that we get is fantastic. <laughs> well, get in touch with Monk Entertainment. So, uh, basically, it's 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 a good life now. But yeah. when we were starting out, it wasn't. And I used to train a lot of people then. And my specialty in training was weight loss, primarily. Uh, and I actually witnessed over like even just a three-month period of training people. 
of getting them to change their habits and all that mm. they actually start becoming more positive yeah. so that was my theory that weight physical health comes first mental health comes second spiritual health comes third uh, but i do feel for someone to reach that third aspect of spiritual health and even considering that as important you need to have these two fix and i feel like yeah. fortunately for you and me we've taken care of physical health earlier in life but that doesn't happen yeah. to everyone 